let us learn how to add three fractions in a different way so three fractions i have taken this time are 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 8 so in order to identify uh, uh, addition of these three fractions we need to first find out their least common factor which is called lcm of their denominators so uh, we are going to find out lcm of 4 2 and 8 so before calculating LCM let us understand what are their prime factors so for 4 we can write 2 multiplied by 2 for 2 we can write 2 multiplied by 1 or simply 2 and for 8 we can write 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 now our next objective is to identify LCM of these three numbers 4 2 and 8 so we are going to draw a simple table which will have uh, three different rows and three different columns 1, 2 and 3 so this is uh, first row this one is second row this one is third row I call it R1, R2 and R3 same way vertically this is first column this is uh, column number 2 and this one is column number 3 in row number 1 we are going to write all the prime factors of 4 so we are writing 2 and 2 in row number 1 in row number 2 we are writing all the prime factors of 2 here so one below other if we have similar numbers then we are going to write their prime factors one below other same way for 8 we are writing prime factors 2 2 and 2 now we need to identify LCM to identify LCM we need to multiply all the prime factors of these three numbers only condition is that in one column if we have more than one number then we are going to consider only one instance of it let us see what I mean about it so like for column number one we have two 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 is coming three times so we need to consider two only once multiply it with column number two in column number two same way we have uh, two instances of two but we need to consider it only once in column number 3 we have just uh, one time 2 so we are going to consider that also multiplying these uh, three twos it will come 8 so now we know that LCM of 4 2 and 8 is 8 now we need to convert this fractions 1 by 4 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 in such a way that their denominators come to 8 let us see how to do that so we need to make denominators 8 of all three fractions so the simplest way is that uh, we need to multiply this 4 denominator 4 with 2 that will become 8 and as we are multiplying denominator with 2 we need to multiply numerator with 2 as well because this 2 and um, numerator and denominator 2 will uh, cancel each other and the final value will be only 1 upon 4 so this value is 2 upon 8 same way we will do for 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 we are going to multiply with 4 upon 4 that way it will become 4 upon 8 and 1 upon 8 we are not going to do any change because 8 is already in denominator for 1 upon 8 now the uh, uh, addition becomes very simple for 1 upon 4 we can write 2 upon 8 2 upon 8 plus for 1 upon 2 we can write 4 upon 8 4 upon 8 and 1 upon 8 will be as it is so when, whenever we have uh, 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 we are adding three fractions or more than three fractions where we have same denominator so the uh, for the resulting fractions we need to write same fract same denominator and for the numerator place we need to simply add individual numerators let us see what it comes so we have kept denominator as it is that is 8 and for the numerator place we have kept 2 4 and 1 and we are adding them so that way it is 7 upon 8 so the result of 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 and 1 upon 8 is 7 upon 8 this is the answer thanks for watching